welcome to the Allegiant Institute. So, whenever my students come into the skills lab, I want to make sure that they have the parameters for the vital sign measurements committed to their heart. So, I don't want you to leave this institute and not know what your normal and abnormal ranges are when you get out there in the healthcare industry. So, let's take some time and review our parameters. All right, you ready? I'm ready. So, what is your average heart rate? Um, the average heart rate is 120 over 80. The average heart rate is? 60 to 100. 60 to 100, you got it. All right, then what is the average respirations? The average respirations are 12 to 20. 12 to 20, you got it. And what is the average temperature? 98.6. 98.6, you got it. All right, so we talked about the blood pressure, okay? So when we're writing our blood pressure, we can write the blood pressure in the form of a fracture. The top number is called the systolic number. During the systolic phase, what is the heart doing? Contracting. The bottom number is called the diastolic. During the diastolic phase, what is the heart doing? The heart is resting. The heart is resting. So when the heart is resting, this is called the? Diastolic. And when the heart is contracting, this is called the? Systolic. The systolic. All right. So we talked about the heart rate. So we know that the average range for the heart rate is? 60 to 100. 60 to 100. <laughs> So, if you are taking measurements and your patient's heart rate is 55, what do we call this in the healthcare industry? Um, that's too low and that'll be Brady Carter. That's right. Good, <laughs> good job. So, if the heart rate, your patient's heart rate is 101. It's too high. It'll be called tachycardia. Good job. All right. So let's move on to the respirations. The average respirations are? 12 to 20. All right. And so when the respirations are 10? Um, that's too low. It's called Brady Nippy. All right. So when the respirations are 22? That's too high. It's called to keep me. To Girl, you got it. You absolutely yeah. got it. I love it. And when you inhale and exhale, this was considered one inspiration. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the apical pulse. Mm -hmm. So with the apical pulse, what instrument do you use? A stethoscope. A stethoscope. You got it. How long should you be listening? Uh -huh. For one minute. All right, for one minute, you got it. So for apical pulse, what instrument are you using? Stethoscope. And for how long are one, you listening? One minute. For one minute, you are doing amazing. I I'm absolutely flabbergasted. She knows this stuff. Coming into the skills lab, I am so happy for you. So there is one thing, one other thing. We talked about the apical pulse. We talked about the respirations. We talked about the heart rate. We talked about the blood pressure. So, what is the most effective way that healthcare providers can practice infection control? Washing hands. Hand washing. <laughs> How long should you wash your hands? 20 seconds. For 20 seconds. You got it. Let's wash these hands. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the skills lab. We are getting ready to start her skills session. Mm-hmm. <laughs>